Um, I've had the chance of uh, working in several industries. Um, and yes, I do, I do have a favorite, but rather than a favorite industry, what I do is I have um, a favorite moment. Uh, for me, the favorite moment in any project is really when we start with an idea, uh, we believe in that idea, and we try and find ways on how to build it. How do we put a team together? How do we find funding? How do we get people to believe in our ideas? Um, we try and share the ideas with our cousins or with our friends and nobody believes in us. And there's this moment that's really a truly magic moment in any organization where the team is very, very passionate. And that's really when you start building the beginning of your corporate um, culture, of the culture of that company that one day can be a great company. And whatever industry I've been in, for me, that has always been my, my favorite moment. Having recognition um, is, is, is a good thing and, and it's even better when you, you know, like as you say, you put it to, to good use. And um, I think one thing that's really important is that we start telling the real African story. And that Africa is made of a lot of talents. We have very capable people, we have, um, we have good companies, um, we have things that actually work well in Africa as well. We hear a lot of the stories of what's wrong and I don't think we hear enough of the stories of um, what's right. So one thing that I like to do is really to be able to promote more of what's right about Africa and what we're doing that's, that's really the good thing that, that, that is happening in our continent. <laughs> I have to say I'm extremely passionate about where I come from. I'm very, very passionate about Angola. Um, very passionate about Africa in general. I have not been able to travel to all the countries. I, I know Southern Africa probably more than I know Eastern Africa or Northern Africa. But uh, I think there's a lot of things that we have in common. I think we have very similar challenges. We have some common challenges. We definitely are different individuals. We have different cultures. We have different legal systems. We have different languages. Um, but we do have some common challenges, but I believe that if we address them and if we start sharing those experiences, if we share lessons learned in Angola with lessons learned in Botswana or in Nigeria or in Ghana, and we manage to create these platforms, um, we will be able to get excellence. And that's really what we want. We want a culture of excellence, a culture of merit, a culture where young people are given opportunity to get, um, get a good job, and then with that good job, they're able to buy a house and become a homeowner. And once they become a homeowner, they're able to educate their children and send them to good, good universities. As Africans, we can play a role anywhere we live. It doesn't matter whether we live in, in Africa, in our home countries, in a different country in Africa, or even if we live in a, in a different continent. I think that generally we must look ourselves as individuals. What can you do to better your society? Uh, what are your passions? What can you do that will really help change what, what's, what's going around you? And of course, um, to quote uh, an old quote, if you cannot be um, the sun, then be a star. So you can, you can do a lot. There's a lot that you can do. And uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be in Africa. Because like I said to you earlier, I believe that when I come into an office, whether it's a, a legal office in, in the UK or whether it's a bank in America, the fact that I find another fellow African sitting across the boardroom from me and talking on the other side, I find that very um, rewarding. And uh, I really feel that not only he or she is representing Africa in a way, but most of all, he's really allowing for a better dialogue, for a better understanding of where we come from. Well, in Africa today, we have some immediate challenges. There's no doubt. Call for action, things that we need to address. We need to think, how can we better manage our territories? We have um, growth, human population, human density. So we need to address how we're going to better manage our territory, how we're going to better manage our land. Uh, we need to think of issues on how can we increase production. We need to be more productive. We need to increase the amount of, of revenue that we are able to produce so that people have a better income and better lives. A lot of it has to come from individual initiatives. We can not only rely on government and states to uh, produce these solutions, we have to also kind of look inwards and into ourselves and think, what can I do? How can I be different? How can I make something that will 
change the society around me. I think it's a great theme. In fact, when I when I read the theme of Build for Africa and African Solutions for Africa, I thought that was a, a really good theme. I grew up and often people told me, um, well, you have to rely on foreign investment or you have to rely on foreign know-how. Oh yes, you don't know how to do that, but you can wait because someday some person will come on a boat or on a train or on a plane and uh, will bring you the solution. And um, I think that's not the case. I think there's a lot that we can do. I think we can share each other's experiences and uh, really we can, be, we can find our own way. We can really find our own way to build our, our home, to build our community and to build our country. Well, uh, to the diaspora members in particular, I would like to challenge them to come and visit, choose any, any country in the continent uh, that you haven't been to before, come and visit and come, come with an open mind. Uh, expect challenges, expect difficulties, but also if you're understanding and open-minded, I, I, I'm sure you will, uh, you will find ways in which, whether you live in Europe, America, Asia, uh, you will be able to contribute and build, build an, an essential link, a very important link between where you are and us here in Africa. Oh, well, dream is a, it's, it's a big question. <laughs> the dream for Africa. Well, um, Africa is a land of opportunity. Most of them have not been developed. And I think my dream for Africa is that most Africans are able to fulfill their own dreams. Will I satisfy?